What's up guys, this is I Tweaks here, and today I'm going to be showing you a highly anticipated tweak called OXO Legacy Edition. So if you guys aren't familiar with OXO, which you probably are just because it's a really popular tweak and it's been around for quite some time, the Legacy Edition is actually an iteration of the original OXO, which you can see right here. So if we go ahead and swipe up here, you'll notice that everything looks as if it did in the original OXO. So we have all of our toggles. So this is basically our control center right here. And we have our quick launch apps right there. And we can swipe over. This is gonna be all of our media controls. And if we tap on play, you'll notice if we tap on the name of the song, then this is actually going to switch to a scrubber. And if we tap it again, then you can see that we have the volume slider right there. We can also tap on these uh, icons right here. So if we tap on the album artwork, then the album artwork is gonna pop up right there. And then if we tap on the P, or Pandora, then it's going to launch Pandora, as you can see right there. So we'll go ahead and pause that and jump back in here. We swipe over to the left, then you're gonna see that we obviously have all of our applications. Now I have Pagination turned off, so that means that I'm going to be able to freely swipe through all of my open applications. Now you can see right here, if we wanted to close an application, which I accidentally just did right there, you can just swipe down and it's going to close that application. If you wanna bring one up, then you can just bring it up just like that which is actually pretty cool. It's very seamless, very smooth. I mean, you can see how smooth that is right there. So if we wanted to open this up, just open it up just like that. And if we want to open up another app, we just open it up just like that. The thing I'm enjoying with it the most is just how smooth and snappy it is. But if we go here into the settings and we go ahead and scroll down to the settings panel for OXO Legacy Edition, open that up, you're gonna notice that we have three panels that we can go into. So if we go into the app switcher, you can see that you can turn on pagination, which obviously will allow you to swipe through four cards at a time, just like that. That's all that that does. Now right here, you're gonna kinda change some of the behavior. So if you swipe up on an app or an app card, then what do you want it to do? Do you want it to preview or open the app, which is what it's set to now? Do you want it to close the app or close all apps? So if we pull up right here, again, we pull up, then it's going to open up just like that. But if we tap on close app, then when we pull this up, you can see that it closes right out. You can also close all apps, which I'm not gonna show you just because I wanna have some apps down there. But we also have swipe down. What do you want it to do? You want it to close the app or close all apps, which I've already showed you. You can just swipe down on an app and it's going to close. Right here we have tap and hold on an app card to close all. So you can easily do that or you can actually set up an activator gesture right here if you wanna do so uh, to close all applications. If we go into the auxiliary pages, here's where we have some uh, behavioral settings for the control center portion as well as the media control. So here we have playback. So what do you wanna see first when you initially swipe over to the media controls? Do you wanna see the volume slider or the track scrubber? You set that up right there. What do you wanna see when you swipe over to the settings or the actual control center portion of this tweak? Do you wanna see the airdrop and airplay or do you wanna see the double row toggles? So basically you can see as we swipe over, we have just our airplay and airdrop. And if we swipe up, then we have our toggles. But if we toggle this on and we swipe back up, you can see that we have the toggles and the quick launch applications. And then if we swipe down, then we have airdrop and airplay. And just another little toggle right here, we have swap auxiliary page order. So if you wanna swap that or not swap it, then you can see we can swipe back over between these two and it's just swapping those pages right there, as you can see. But let's go back and we'll go into the advanced options. So what do you want OXO Legacy Edition to open to when you initially swipe up? Do you want it to go to the last open page? Do you want to go to the app switcher, playback page, settings page? You can set that up all right there. So right below that, we also have if playing open to playback. So if you have that toggled on and we're actually playing some music, you can see we'll start playing some music and then we'll swipe over here to our app card. So now when we open up OXO, it should go directly to the media controls like you can see right there. And then we also have visible pages, which you can obviously see you can disable or enable these three pages. So the app switcher, the playback page, the settings page. And then right down at the bottom, we have one last toggle that's going to allow you to toggle on, if not playing, then hide playback. So if we toggle this on and we toggle this off, let's go ahead and stop that. And then you can see when we swipe up here and we swipe across, that's not even available anymore. That page is completely gone. So if we toggle that back on, you can see that it's back. So that's all that that really does. So this is a really awesome tweak. I highly recommend checking it out for yourself. It is 99 cents to upgrade if you already purchased OXO 2. Otherwise, it's $1.99. So let me know what you guys think about OXO 
Legacy Edition in the comments below. Of course, if you guys want to see more videos on everything Jailbreak as well as everything Apple, make sure you subscribe. All right, guys, until next time, peace.